I have seen over $2 million myself. Just in private plans. Just in private jets. That's just a fraction of the stunning debts allegedly racked up by Simon. According to Hagit, she claims he pretended to be her brother. We've been contacted by several charter companies, brokers for yachts, for private planes, private jets. These companies were trying to collect debt, debt that Simon left behind. And Simon said that his family, his company, is going to pay for all of it. Of course, that wasn't the case. Since Simon is not a member of the Levaya family and has nothing to do with the family's business, LLD Diamonds. As we see in the tender swindler, Simon had a taste for the expensive life. Several women claim he conned them out of hundreds of thousands of dollars after meeting them on Tinder. How much money did you take now? $250,000. That's not what I signed up for. Simon has not been charged with any crimes relating to the women that appear in the documentary. He also said the documentary was like a, quote, made-up movie. He denies the claims of fraud and denies that he claimed to be a member of the family. And a rep for Simon tells us Simon believes the family is just trying to insert themselves in the narrative for publicity after the show's success. But Agit says Simon's alleged scam on her family goes back at least five years and continued up until this year. A person from UK called us and said that our our brother offered him a very sketchy deal. We asked, what is the name of the brother you're talking about? And he said, Simon. And we told him, Simon is not a family member. This was a day before the show came out. So the guy has been using our name relentlessly. And Hagit says her family has seen fallout from the film. So many people on Instagram, people who call the office, people who email, and they say, you guys are a terrible company for what you have done, and people are still don't understand that we're just as much a victim here. These are three fraudulent checks that he prepared and wanted to pay someone that he owed money to. Hagit's family has filed a private criminal complaint against Simon in Israel. Hagit says she's been in touch with all three of the women that claim they've been scammed by Simon. It was important for me to reach out and show them our support and show them that we are sorry for what they've been through. We're going to fight as hard as we can to bring justice to this case and make sure he pays for all he has done. Hagid also says the family plans to pursue civil action with plans to donate any money they win to the alleged victims. A rep for Simon tells us he's looking forward to sharing his side of the story in the future.